Rupi Kaur writes poetry about being a woman in the world, she uses only lowercase. The equality of the letters echoes the theme of equality in her poems. I remember grade 10 English class, the teacher was like, how many of you are feminists? And I said, me. And I looked around and nobody else had their hand up and I was like, oh, never mind. And I was like, I'd never want to go there again and it's so important. Rupi was born in Punjab, India, and in the Gurmukhi script, there are no uppercase or lowercase. All letters are treated the same. Writing this way in English lets her integrate her Sikh heritage and honor her mother language into her work. In fact, Rupi started expressing herself through art when she was a child trying to integrate into Canada. As she was learning English, she'd write notes and paint pictures for her classmates. As Rupi grew up, her poetry began to explore trauma activism, love, and femininity. She started sharing her poems on social media and performing them in public. I think I just fell in love with the way the mic picked up my voice and it like boomed throughout the entire space. And for someone that felt voiceless for so long, that was so refreshing. In 2014, she self-published a collection of her works and called it Milk and Honey. I think people just want to feel understood and feel seen. It's what I want growing up, and so that's why I think the poetry works so well. And while social media helped launch Rupi's career, a disagreement with Instagram propelled it even farther. In 2015, she posted a photo to help normalize menstruation. And when Instagram removed it twice, she publicly called it out as a perfect example of the problem. Her response to the incident gained worldwide attention. And soon after that, Milk and Honey got picked up by an official publisher and became a New York Times bestseller. Since then, she's been listed on Forbes 30 Under 30. She's one of BBC's 100 women. She performs and speaks to crowds in the thousands. And she published her second bestseller, The Sun and Her Flowers. A lot of the readers are young women who are experiencing really real things and you know they're not able to talk about it with maybe family or other friends and so they go to this type of poetry to sort of feel understood and to have these conversations. Today Ruby has a loyal fan base on social media but that's only her starting point. Hi. <laughs> We're hanging out at the Delhi show. And as she continues to grow as an artist, her Sikh heritage keeps her centered and strong. For like two decades, I was writing from a place of fear. Mm. Um, and now to be writing from a place of power, I'm mm. still learning how to figure that out. 